Hi everybody, I'm Darian and welcome to the Wise in 5. Today we're talking about Google Web Designer. Recently Google released their own version of Dreamweaver or a graphics based web encoding platform and they've called it Google Web Designer. It's something that's very easy to use and it's certainly the closest thing to Dreamweaver that I've seen available yet. We're going to just dive right in. So to install this piece of software on your computer, you simply navigate to google.com slash web designer and we're going to include a link in the video. If you're using a Windows machine it will come in the form of an exe file. Simply run and install it and it will be installed on your system just like any of your other Windows programs. So one thing I'll point out here is it is not really like a Google Apps cloud based piece of software. It does install locally on your computer but the most important thing is it's free and it's very powerful. Once we've got it installed when we run it we're presented with a pretty straightforward interface. All the typical controls are where they should be. When I click on the file menu, I have the ability to open an existing file or create a new file. And this is where we get a good idea of exactly what we can do with this. By default, Google wants to help us create some ads, which kind of makes sense. And this is why this is so powerful for internet marketers. When creating a new file, we're given a bunch of choices. Do we want to create a blank new HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or XML file? Or maybe we want to jump right in and make some popular sized ads. These ads uh, are created in HTML5, they're embeddable, and this is probably the easiest way to make uh, rich animated uh, ads today. Um, you can choose from double click, add mob generic. Uh, I'm just going to start a, a uh, blank HTML file and just show you how easy it is to get started with Google Web Designer. So uh, here we can just put in the title, so I'm just going to call this my page. And uh, we'll just leave the rest blank for now. Um, it's going to save it. We can specify where we want to save it and then what type of animations we're going to use, etc. So let's just call this my site again. So when the page loads up, we are given uh, a design view of what our website's going to look like. And this is really a WYSIWYG way to build our website. So just like Dreamweaver or anything else, we can use the tools on the side to populate the page with various commonly used uh, objects. So if I want to put a piece of text, I can just click, copy, drag out exactly where my text is going to lie and start typing right away. Looking into it, uh, you know, we get all the contextual controls appearing on the screen uh, for this, the text that we're populating with. So what kind of text we want to use, we can click and drag more text boxes and options, etc. Now, the cool thing about it is, though, we can switch between code view, design view. We can preview right here, and it'll scan your computer for whichever browsers you have installed. You can preview it in any browser, and you can publish right from the software. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I'd invite you all to check it out. And again, this is Google Web Designer. That's it for the Wizen 5. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.